Hello from Universal Orlando. We're here to meet my friend Caleb and just to hang out, I guess. Um, we, I don't really have a plan. I should look at the wait time, see if maybe we can hop on some stuff, but there is no real plan, so maybe he has a plan. So let's go meet him at studios and then see, see what the day is looking like. I don't know, I just thought I would bring you guys along because it's fun. I looked at some wait times and Lost Coaster is only 40 minutes, which is exciting. Mummy is 35, Rip Ride Rocket is 20 minutes. I feel like it's a pretty good day. Well, it's already like 4.35, but still, it's a good day today. So we might try to head on some rides, but we're almost inside studios and then we'll meet up with Caleb and see what his plan was. Hey, excuse me, dare I say this is already setting up for Halloween Horror Nights? It is July already, so it's very possible. I don't know if they would do it this early, but they've started setting up this at this time before, I feel like. I really hope this is for Halloween Horror Nights. All right, let's head inside. All right, I met up with Caleb and he told me we're doing content stuff today. So we're filming a bunch of content. Right? Yeah. Okay. And we, know, that's what we do. That's that's all we do. Dogs. And <laughs> and we're also gonna get on a couple of rides, right? Because the yeah. lines are so short. So. What are we doing next? Oh yes, Diagon Alley for more content. Found some more of these things, whatever they're called, in here. I think it's time we're getting ready. There's no line for butterbeer, so we're going. Okay. As we got here, there's a little bit of a line, but it's not bad. I think I'm gonna get just the regular one. Got the butter beer, let's give her a try. Mm. It's so good. I think if you want more of the foam on top, you should get just cold liquid. Because in the frozen one, they don't give you as much foam. And I like the foam butterscotch part, the top, the best at the top. So get with the liquid one if you want more of the top flavor. We're heading into DreamWorks land because Caleb has never seen it before. Yeah. So we'll do a little quick walk around. There's Shrek's meet and greet. Little playground. Fun musical frogs over there. Musical frogs. There's the Trolls coaster. Trolls area here. Another little playground over there. There's like a little running water over here that you can like run through. Oh, unless Caleb is demonstrating. Beautiful. That was a very good demo. Thank you, Caleb, for sacrificing your socks. Okay. <laughs> and then there's a giant Kong here, another splash pad there. I just don't really want to show kids. Um, then two more like splash areas, and then back there's like a little show. Come on, camera, do your thing. All right, well, you can't see it, but Velocicoaster is a 35 minute wait, so we're running over there. All right, we're here, and we're running. Well, not running right now, but after I put you down, we're running. All right, we're here at Velocicoaster. I cannot see the time from here, but hopefully it's still 35 minutes. All right. It's 75 minutes now, so uh, we're gonna turn back and revisit this at a later time. So it says 60 minutes, but this is the line. I don't think that's 60 minutes at all. 60 minutes would be back toward, um, back this way, there would be a line back to that outside queue, so. We're gonna just come in and time it. All right, it's been about 20 minutes and we are at this point and the lockers are right up ahead there. So this definitely was not 60 minutes at all. Probably got like a 20 minute more wait. Okay, we just got off the Lost Coaster and it was maybe 30, 35 minutes max. We timed it, um, just not to the exact minute, but like 30, 35 minutes instead of 65, 75 is great. So we were right. I'm glad we were able to deduce that. And no, we weren't gonna wait that long. Also, Hagrid's right now is 65 minutes, which that one is probably for sure 65 minutes. Um, so we're just gonna keep walking around a bit and hanging out, and then we'll go and check on it a bit later, and hopefully it goes down even more. Okay, we're kind of hungry, so we're gonna check out the Fire Eaters Grill and see if there's anything that we like. So I'm just gonna get the chicken fingers. All right, I ended up getting some chicken fingers. It was $11 for this bad boy. Crazy. And like, you could have gotten whatever you wanted. I didn't get anything because I don't know if I'm allergic to half that stuff there. But, fries are fries. Chicken is chicken. Chicken. Mm -hmm. They didn't even have any sauces. Well, okay. They did. They had packets of ketchup, mustard, and relish and mayonnaise. They didn't even have salt and pepper. And they didn't have like honey mustard or anything like that or barbecue, so I just opted for plain old fries and chicken today. Cinesation, whoa, cine, what is it called? Cinesation, 
sin sensational. Sensational? Like cinema and sensational. Okay, so sensational. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, there's a new nighttime spectacular at Universal Studios, so we are gonna walk over there. It starts in about 30 minutes. So we're gonna head over there right now, which shows you how quickly you can get to the other park. Um, since we haven't seen it, it's like a drone show and there's fireworks and fountains and a lot of fun stuff. So let's go watch that. It's called Cinesational, it starts at nine. And then we'll, depending on wait times and stuff, we might hop back here after. Let's go, we made it in. Boy, the uh, clouds look kind of like they're the background to the city right now, that's cool. All right, we're heading between Minion, the Minions ride or the new Despicable Me ride and Transformers to get to the lagoon lake. I don't know what you want to call it. Okay, there's a ton of people here and it is like 20 minutes 20 minutes till the show so definitely come early if you want a good front spot in the front But I also don't know I've never seen this show before I haven't seen videos of it. So I think a lot of it's gonna be in the sky I don't know how much of it's gonna be down there. So we'll see There's a ton of lightning in the cloud right there I don't know if we're gonna, I'm gonna try to catch it. No, oh, 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 there it is. You guys saw it. soundscapes that help bring to life fantastic stories. Cinematic music speaks directly to the heart, taking us into inspiring adventures. And tonight, those very melodies call upon us to follow a celestial spectacle. And you never quite know just where that story may lead. So let the music guide our path and take us on a journey that can only be described as sensational.
necessarily moved me the same way Happily Ever After does or like um, like the Halloween Horror Nights show where like I don't know if you grew up with those movies absolutely no I mean some of them like, yeah for sure yeah, like see, for me I didn't grow up with those movies so um, I've seen I've seen quite a bit but like that wasn't necessarily my childhood so it wasn't in a sense of nostalgia per se whereas, yeah like someone else like definitely because you know they got like, the back older to the f movies i'm a 2000s baby let's be honest so like <laughs> yeah like you know. the back to the future one i was like huh. like the like when they actually had the scene of him trying to start the car i was like okay yes because that was a big movie for me when i was a kid but like in terms of like the music um not from the movies i meant like the sensational music oh, the actual, oh yeah. like this the music just, for the show it wasn't like it's kind of just a soundtrack they focus definitely more on the uh, yeah, IP no, no. music. Yeah, for sure. Which, you know, it works. It really worked. But, you know, the original soundtrack wasn't really there. Yeah. Yeah, I on honestly, I thought it was a good show. I liked it a lot. I thought that the projections were really cool on the water. Like, I thought it was going to be kind of like uh, Fantasmic, but I think it's better than Fantasmic. It's I like think it's better. It's like color meets luminous meets drone shells. <laughs> yeah. And the drones were just really fun to watch. So, yeah, I would highly recommend watching this one. It was really cool. Oh, yeah. All right, we're running over back to Island, so we are surely getting our steps in tonight. Um, we are getting on Hagrid's because we're going to wait for the crowds to die down a bit since everyone just left studio. So it's going to be 
a mass of people leaving at the or like going to the garage, leaving the garage. So um, we're gonna spend that time closing the other park instead and trying to get on Hagrid's since we've got about 30 minutes. All right, so there was quite a few people who were running over from studios here. So fingers crossed they're going to Velocicoaster and not Hagrid's, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. There's also a lot of people leaving. People going, people leaving. All right, we just put our stuff in lockers except for our phones. <laughs> Um, yes, it says 65. I can't wait to ride this at night. It says 65 minutes, but we'll see how long it takes. Castles lit up for the show that they have going like every 20 minutes. I'm so ready. It's so cool at night here. They added like queue lines. This is a showroom and normally they would just file you in as big groups, but I guess they added queue lines maybe for the summer. Are you serious right now? The fire alarm just went off on Hagrid's. All right, well, the fire alarms just went off, or alarms, emergency alarms just went off while we were inside of Hagrid, so we had to leave. Good thing we only waited like 30 minutes, so at least we weren't in there for like already an hour or something. That would have demanded to let us on. Yeah, no, I definitely feel bad. I don't know what happened, but this was never. This has never happened to me before. I, I can say that at least. It just said, well, you heard it, but it was like the emergency went off, and then everyone started exiting. Surprisingly, majority of people stayed very calm. There were, yeah, no one was like, yeah, the children, and also we were in like a tunnel, like very kind of claustrophobic. So like. If kids thought there was a fire, like, they were freaking out a little bit. But no one was, like, running and trampling people, so I'd call that a successful emergency exit out of Hagrid's. And there was quite a ways to walk, too, but everyone was just calm, cool, and collected for the most part. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I'm impressed, too. I don't really know what happened. I wish I did. But, yeah, that's going to be a great ending to the day today. <laughs> Um, we did a ton of stuff actually, very unplanned, but a fun day today. Um, thank you guys so much for coming along. You always know that there's some random crazy thing that's been happening lately in every single vlog, so that's super fun. <laughs> if you guys have any questions about anything, or theme park, Orlando in general, as always, leave it in the comments down below. I love you guys, have a wonderful week and a magical month, month, and I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs>